Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. So we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the Four of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Divine timing. Clarify Three of Swords. The Death. So something came to an end here. Something ended. There was a breakup. There was an ending of a relationship. Talking about the Knight of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles. See, this is somebody that's ending something else to be with you. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. So, yeah, this is like two different feminine energies here. So you have somebody who definitely puts you in some type of third party situation or something like that. You guys, I feel like, I feel like honestly, you guys are this Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, where you guys are very clear headed about something like, and you're very like protective of your energy right now. So you guys are in this energy of setting boundaries and you're very self-focused and you're not just like going to let any and anybody and anything come into your life, even this, whoever this person is. And it's like, you guys are very clear that it's like things will happen when they're supposed to, or something is going to happen in divine timing. Like you're trying to be patient. Um, you're kind of like just surrendering to the unknown and like just knowing that something is coming in in divine timing or something like that. So, um, there's definitely, I feel like there definitely was something is coming to an end here. I don't, I don't feel like it's with, I mean, you could have had an ending with this person. But I more so feel like this is somebody that's trying to get single to be able to come towards you. Yeah, it's like they're withdrawing from somebody else. Or there's somebody who somebody wants to give an offer to who they view as very uh, independent in, which that's why I was saying. I feel like that's why you're this queen of swords. Like they, there's, there's somebody that likes the fact that you're independent and that you got your shit together and you're very abundant and you're attractive. And like it's or it's like the more you start being focus self-focus the more this person wants to come towards you with some type of offer what does the three of swords and the death card have to do with my collective so yeah we have the king of cups what about the king of cups could have been a pisces cancer or a scorpio um five of wands what does that do with my collective seven of cups so you guys did have oh see this is somebody they had third parties guys i'm telling you this maybe this person maybe had more than one person not even just one. They they definitely were like had options or something like that. Lots of options, choices. Yeah. The five of wands can also be a card of comp competition. So what about this? What about the five of wands, the seven of cups, the four of wands? What is that about? The ten of cups? What does this have to do with my collective? The ace of pentacles? So this person is seeing you as the one that they want to give a solid offer to their, their ultimate happiness and fulfillment in the four of wands. They want to settle down with you. So what's up with the seven of cups and the five of wands? And if that's how they feel about you, the 10 of pentacles chariot, I don't get it. The seven of cups, the five of wands. What happened with those? The Knight of wands. Yeah, they were a player. What about what happened? What happened? The two of pentacles. Yeah, this person was juggling. I don't know. Like, it's so weird, guys. This person always saw you as the one, but they were still trying to juggle and they were weighing their options. Why? Why were they doing this? Hidden, hiding feelings. Oh, because they felt insecure. Feeling insecure, fear, vulnerability. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sick of this energy. So this person saw you as the, the total package. That's what I was saying. They see you as the knight of pentacles. Like, if they were going to open their heart to anybody, they would be doing it to you. And they haven't even been choosing to get to do that with you either. But this is somebody, they were feeling insecure. You made them feel insecure in some way. Who had a reading like this yesterday? I feel like it was Taurus. Who did I film yesterday? I did Taurus and I did, yeah, I feel like I just did Taurus. So this person, they felt insecure when it came to you. So they were trying to, like, keep options or something. Like they had a fear of vulnerability. Tell me more of the fool. What about the fool? Aquarius energy. Strength. This person has been trying to work up the courage to overcome some type of obstacles 
for something like that to be able to take a leap of faith on this. Or for some of you, they've been trying to like suppress their emotions. Why? Leo energy here. Three of Pentacles. The Hermit. Because they have a third party that they need to withdraw from. I'm telling you. It's like they don't feel like it's the right time. Why are they not withdrawing from that situation? Or maybe they know that they need to heal. What about this? Yeah, it's like they're trying to move on from something here. Yeah. Kind of step into their power and move on to some from something that, yeah, holding on to something, insecurity, controlling, awakening. They're awakening to something, though. The sun. Yeah, something's coming to light. Someone's starting to see. What is it that, yeah, healing is on the back of the deck. So, so this person definitely needs to heal. What is this new perspective that they're gaining? See, money focus. What about money? They maybe chose another situation. Yeah, sexual encounter. What does that do with my collective? What a catch. So, what in the hell? This person, this person has a fear of commitment, first of all, y'all. This person, and they also have a fear. They want to commit to you, but they're afraid that if they come in and they try to talk to you, that you're going to reject them because they have a big ego. Yeah, they don't, they don't want to get their ego bruised. Guys, I really wish I could tell you when I get readings like this, why these people are like this, but it's just, they're trying, they're, all I can say is that they're traumatized. Like they're, they're, they need to heal. Okay. They have demons to conquer, but this person, I just heard, I just heard a mother wound for some of you. So this person may have a mother wound, but, um, this person had a catch in you. Like you were a catch and they have a fear of losing you. But this person was also very money hungry. And some this person's lustful. What is sexual encounter? Four of Cups. See, yeah, discontent, boredom, refusing offers, apathy. So if this person is like being lustful, they're not satisfied by whatever they're encountering in regards to that, like who they're dealing with or whatever. What's this have to do with my collective? Yeah, so this person may try to come towards you. See, there's a situation that this person is choosing. They know that you're a catch, but there's another situation that they're holding on to because of money. This person is going to maybe try to come in. They're not happy where they're at, right? So this person is going to come in and try to have a sexual encounter with you. But Spirit says you cannot trust this person. Or they're going to come in and make uh, false promises. They may try to play on your emotions. Yeah, using your weaknesses against you. What else do they need to know about this freaking person? The Page of Cups. Yeah, what about the Page of Cups? This person's immature. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Temperance. The Tower. What's the Tower? Nine of Cups. What's that do with my collective? Waiting. Huh. This person's... You guys are like in this energy of making better choices for yourselves. So this person's sitting there waiting to hear from you, but I, I think they're going to be waiting forever. All right. Because this toxic dynamic or whatever it is, this is that they want to keep doing with you. You're not interested in that anymore. It looks like. Tell me more about how Cap, I was going to say Capricorn. Some of you guys could be a Capricorn. We do have, uh, I don't know. We didn't have the devil come out. Some of you guys definitely could be Capricorns. This is not for any specific sign, but that's just what I was going to say for whatever reason. What does this mean? Um, how does my collective, that's what I was trying to say. How does my collective um, feel about the situation with this person? So we have the five of swords. Ooh, see, you guys feel like this person plays games. You feel like they have betrayed you or they're toxic. Like you guys are in this very like defensive energy. Or you guys are kind of also in this energy. See how this girl... Ah, <laughs> I just got a download. So you see how like this, this, whatever, this masculine right here, he has a sword and you can see his sword, right? You see how this feminine energy, she's got a sword behind her back. So it's like, you got some, um, it's like this person, for some of you, this person is about to communicate with you and you're not going to talk to them. All right. You're going to kind of, they're going to come in and say something to you. You're going to kind of stay like withdrawn. For what all what it's like almost like you guys have learned how to play this person's game type thing. And I don't think that they know this. They don't know that you've learned to play their game. You're maybe even gonna be giving them a taste of their own medicine and it's gonna catch them off guard type energy. Tell me more. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. So what about yeah, and this is actually leading 
you guys know how to handle this person now or you know how to play this person's game. I don't even really want to say that because I don't even want to like, you know, say that you guys are playing games with this person. But it's like you know how to handle them and you kind of like know how to like be strategic when dealing with them or something like that. Like you just because of what you've been through with them before, you're like, OK, next time this person tries to reach out to me or that whatever they get a hold of me, I know exactly how to handle them. Some of you guys really want to get back at this person or at least like kind of like uh, the t turn the tables or however you say that. But see, there's there's something changing here because you guys know how to play. You know how to deal with this masculine or this feminine now. I don't know. Something is changing. We have waiting. See, what about waiting? See, you guys, we're also in this energy. What's up with my collective? Yeah, what is this? Money focus. See, oh. <laughs> Why do they feel that way? Why are they in the Ten of Swords? The Four of Wands. What's that do with my collective, though? See, this person's possibly healing from something else. Another ending, a betrayal, whatever it is. I don't know. But you guys have, like, shifted. You were at some point kind of waiting on this person wishing and hope hopeful that this person would come back and you guys will be able to like be together be together but now you guys are kind of like focused on money it's like you're kind of doing to this person what they did to you this person has kept you waiting for a long time yeah you you guys are going to end up making this person yeah that's what's going on here so let me see if I, how I can put this in the words so that you guys can understand so the tables are turning here. That's probably what I'm going to um, name this reading. This person has kept you waiting while because they're insecure and they weren't they are They had a fear of commitment and a fear of vulnerability and all that shit while they entertained other options. And they were weighing their options about whether or not they wanted to be with you or somebody else, which was very unfair. Right. They played games. They betrayed you. So now this person and I feel like they're still going to maybe try to come toward you in that energy. But the, the thing about it is this person knows who you are. They know that you're a catch. But they keep playing with you. I don't know why, guys, but they just don't know how to handle somebody like you. They probably have never been with anybody like you. They're immature. I don't know. But you're about to do to this person what they did to you. Now they're about to come in and tell me about this energy that they're coming in towards my collective in because I can already kind of see it. The fool. Yeah. What about the fool? The hermit. Six of swords. What is the energy they're approaching them in? The four of the yeah, four of pentacles. See, karmic partner. See, this person's coming towards you and they're still holding on to a karmic or something like that. They're codependent on with somebody. They're still holding on to some demons or some type of dark side, like dark, like an addiction, like devil energy. I, that's why I was like, some of you guys, it's a Capricorn, but they still have addictions, a, a ta toxic attachments, all that stuff. So they're going to try to come towards you and try to tell you that, you know, they're healing. Things will get better. Let's have a new beginning. Meanwhile, they're still holding on. They're still insecure. They're still, this is a means to control you. They're still holding on to a karmic or a karmic, a karmic partner or a karmic situation or a car, like an addiction, codependency, something like that. Okay. So you, what they don't know is that you guys have stepped, stepped into your divine energy, uh, empress energy, um, emperor energy, whatever it is. And this is there. This person's about to get a wake up call, y'all. I'm telling you, they're about to finally. This is going to be karma for them, past actions and consequences, and they're going to be in this energy of deep regret. Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, look at this. Yep, left out in the cold, feeling rejected, lonely, grieving, breakup, loss, regret, sadness. Yep. Yep. So it's like, I'm kind of getting like this persist. I'm, I feel like this person's not going to, how do I say this? I don't necessarily see it just yet. I'm going to get more cards. But it's almost like this part, you're going to be making this person wait on you now or just permanently, like they're going to be chasing you and you're not going to be even entertaining it at all. But for some of you, you're just not, you're playing hard to get with this person. Like that's why I was getting with that playing games energy. You're going to be playing hard to get with them. You're going to be putting like yourself and money, uh, like you're be more focused on your career and your money over trying to be trying to make something work with this person now because they've wasted too much of your damn time. They've played too many games. You're like, all right, it's time to you know make some changes here. I got to do things differently. So, th and this is actually leading to positive change in your love life because now you're in this energy of not letting people waste your time, knowing your worth. 
you know, not letting people, like not letting this person back into your life so easily or like they're coming in to take from you and that's the problem. Sorry guys, that got really loud. Um, it's like they're coming in to take from you in some way. Like not even, like I'm not, I don't mean like take from you financially for some of you that could be the case, but it's more so they're coming in to just get what they want from you and then probably they think that they can have their cake and eat it too. Or they have up until this point. So, yeah. Um, what was I about to, okay. I was like, what was I about to use? Um, let's do a few of these, I guess. Mm, let's use this one. All right, let's see. Let's get a couple of these to kind of bring the reading reading together. So we have family tree. So there's cultural differences, different values, beliefs, or traditions that pose a challenge to this connection. So for some of you, the, the codependent relationship or the codependency has to do with them being like codependent on a family member or their family or like they have a toxic family dynamic or something like that. See, so yeah, on a pedestal. Guys, I already, I've been talking about this a lot in the last couple of weeks. This person has been treating you like this because of their insecurities. Person, you made this person feel very small. I've been talking about this in the last couple of readings I've been doing. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Gossip. See, what's up with the family tree and gossip? There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision too. So they got family or friends or whoever this, whoever it is around them that has opinions about your relationship. And unfortunately, it looks like this person is listening to them or it's like at least affect, making them not confused, like not know, making them very have an internal conflict. I think that card came out. Yeah, so somebody's watching you. They've been watching your social media to see what you're what you post and get clues on how to approach you. Gesture. You can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection and give them a chance to prove themselves. Yeah, it's like I told you, you're gonna make this person like kind of play hard to get. They're gonna have to really prove themselves to you. Yeah, didn't I say you're done? It says game over. They fear your wrath. Game over meaning that you're no longer playing this game with them anymore. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. Yep, they are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Oh, now they want to offer you something more stable. Now they want to marry you. Now they want to work on building a solid foundation. It says they see you as marriage material, someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. Exactly. Like, I told you, this. you've always been it for this person. They just have, it's, I don't know, guys. They feel like they weren't good enough for you. They made them feel insecure. They weren't sure that they were ready. They weren't ready to release certain things. I don't know, but taming the beast. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Yeah, they're about to realize. See, they see how their focus on material things hasn't made them happy. What did I say? And only holding them back from love. I told you they chose a situation of, of, that has something to do with money over you, whether they chose just their job or they chose to be with somebody that they felt like they'd be more financially stable with. They're not happy there. They're unfulfilled there. They, they they don't get from that situation what they get from you. So they're about to realize like that you don't choose partners or people based off what you can get out of them. Like this person like either was trying to use somebody for money or they just they were they chose the situation for the wrong reasons. And they're about to realize that you don't do that. All right. You don't do that. And now that you're not playing games, they're like, okay, am I going to just continue to choose money or am I going to, like this person was trying to have both. For some reason, it's like they feel like they got money from that situation. And then they felt that they had the total, I don't know, guys, it's so weird. 
Yeah, they're going, they're about to start going through the dark night of the soul. Yeah, and then we have justice. Yeah, they're experiencing massive upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. Yeah, they just don't love themselves. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. But they got to go through these tower moments first, guys. They got to go through this dark night of the soul. Yeah, they got to go through this upheaval. But we, we have twin flame here. So yeah, we already know this is a twin flame reading. You don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. Their higher self wants union as much as you do. Yeah, I told you. There's somehow this person has some type of darkness. It's like a choice between being with you or some type of vice that they have or something like that. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. And it says they have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. Yeah, choices. There is a choice they have to make. They know time is not on their side and risk losing you forever if they don't. Yep, the player. I'm telling you, this person was definitely a player. They are so very guarded and trapped behind their own emotional defenses. Allow them to fall in love in steps. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. This person knows that they're going to have to drop all their, their, their people. I was going to say something else, but I'm going to say people um, to be with you. Because, and it's like, they, they're realizing that those people, if they, this is somebody that likes to entertain more than one person. They like to have a, numerous options or whatever. It, it's not, it don't feel the same for them anymore since they met you. It's just, I don't know why. Yeah, they, it's like they view you as your innocence and kind heart makes them love you, but feel they must push you away to protect them. It's like this person has not trusted their ability to be faithful to you or to just be with just, just you. And that's, that's un unfortunate, but they see, they see, I told you, they see who you are, but they also don't trust themselves. This person's not very self-assured. They need to work on, like, really work on spending some time with themselves, getting to know themselves. Because this person is just like in this energy where they, they see how abundant you are, but they're like, they don't trust what they're seeing. They feel like it's possibly an illusion. It's a trick. I don't know. This person. So let's see. Why is this person still holding on to this other situation? Why are they not wanting to completely release the other situation, Spirit? If they view my collective as the, the total package, why are they not wanting to release that other situation? Well, Spirit is just saying that, like, if you thought that they would never release whatever that other situation was, let go of something to be with you, Spirit says there's victory coming in. Miracles are unfolding. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Healing heart. Healing old emotional pain. Preparing for new love. Opening your heart. They're healing. Why? Like, why are they not wanting to children so maybe oh maybe there's something to do with children there's children involved what about children or they need inner child healing the knight's tale an offer of love old-fashioned values what's that do with my collective pretty bride they want to offer you something more solid i don't know guys then why aren't they doing it why are they not offering this yeah what about why are they not reacting to it I mean, why are they not doing this? See, they, it's on a pedestal, feeling that they're out of your league. That, yeah, they feel like you're out of their league. Idealizing and denying flaws. It's almost like whatever this other situation that this person is in, it's toxic as hell. But this person is so like used to it or something like that that they don't even like they're not phased by it like it's like it's a storm but they're so used to it they just are they're just staying in it it's weird and i feel like they don't they're not really realizing how ne bad it is and how negatively it affects them because it says idealizing and denying flaws so it's like they're trying to like see the good in a situation or in somebody when it's like, it's bad. It's not good, but they're so used to it. They're having a hard time being able to see, like, okay, this is toxic. This isn't good for me. This is something that I need to set boundaries in. This is something that I need to walk away from. So what's this mean for my collective? I don't know, guys. They, yeah, they feel like, yeah, high maintenance, unrealistic, high standards, never set. They feel like it will be hard that they would have, they, you have, they feel like you're very high maintenance. Like, they feel like you have really high standards. I feel like this person does not feel like they can meet your standards. Yeah, they just feel like, yeah, they feel like you're a beauty and they're the beast. I'm telling you, it says what goes around comes around. I'm telling you. Major differences, feeling love life is cursed. 
it's like you guys, the way you do things and the way that they do things and the way that they were raised is just, you guys are very different. So what does this mean going forward, Spirit? Because I just <laughs> feels like, yeah, it's like someone's choosing to stay in their comfort zone because the way you, who you are and the way that you do things is very different from what they're used to. And unfortunate, but it says you guys are meant to be together. Blessed union, love that transforms divine mission together, meant to be together. And we have epiphany. Discovery or realization, sudden insight into reality, dig deep for answers. The battlefield. Yeah. So now what? This person's gonna start realizing something about you. They're gonna start realizing that, like. How are they? What's making this person? What's changing this person's mind? Them be yeah, feeling lonely or abandoned. Yeah. Setting an example. Yep. Setting strong boundaries. Yep. It's something about you guys cutting this person off. They're going to start feeling very lonely and like that like you're abandoning them. Then it's like they're going to slowly start seeing the truth of everything here. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to see how toxic whatever they are in. What is the situation, this other one that they've been trying to looking at through rose colored glasses? What is that? Sierra so says this is a part of the divine plan. Yeah. Creeping doubt, hesitation, skepticism, pessimism. What about it? Temptation. Yeah, seduction, weaknesses, tempting offers, and desires. See? Uh. What is this? So what are they doing with this shit over here then? What are they doing with the temp or See, they feel very tempted by you. They feel like you're a temptation. Because you're the empress. They desire you heavily, but they're skeptical about you. They know that they're not going to find another you. Why are they so skeptical? Because they just, it's their own insecurities. They know that you deserve a proper offering. Why are they being like this? I don't get it. Yeah, faded relationship. Why are they not, if they feel this way about you, why are they not doing this? Well, Spirit is not, I, I can tell from what I can see here that this person is just really insecure and they don't feel good enough for you. And you're very different from what they're used to. So it's just making this person feel very skeptical. And they know that being with you means a lot of big changes. And this is somebody that's really stuck in their comfort zone. But with the solar eclipse, this card keeps coming out. I'm telling you, something is changing around October 14th, guys. There's also a partial eclipse at the end of October, I believe, as well. But there's something about eclipse, eclipse season that we're about to enter that's going to lead to some unexpected major changes, cosmic intervention, powerful changes of heart. You want more? What is this solar eclipse? Yeah, they're gonna. Someone's gonna start feeling very regretful, emotional loss, defeat, deep sadness, heartbreak. Yep, regrets and mistakes. Why? Why is somebody? What's happening around that time? What about Lady Venus? Photographs. They're yeah. It's like they're gonna return to you. They're gonna try to return to you, but they're not gonna. Yeah, wanting to conquer you. Yeah, but I don't think you guys are gonna let them back in so easily. Yeah, what are the, they're, why are they in this ocean of tears energy? All the signs. What are they in this ocean of tears? Epiphany. Sacred emerald. What's the unexpected complexities? It's like someone's realizing that you... Uh, I don't know. I wish I could. I don't know. I'm going to pull one more and then I'm taking it over to the extended reading. Someone's having a change of heart. or there, And it could be because you guys, I don't know. I need to get a card before I say what I'm going to say. It's almost like someone's about to realize that everything that they wanted was right in front of them. And they were just letting their insecurities and um, fears and outdated ways of thinking and everything like that uh, sabotage this. So you have fragmentation of the soul. Significant drama from the past. Irrational, unexplained fears. Yeah. Checking out in certain situations. Overreactions to seemingly small problems. Okay, what about that? See, yeah. They had like some type of irrational fear. We have Twin Flame here again, by the way, about you. Like the way that them being afraid of you was unwarranted. 
It was because of things that happened in their past. They need, they need to heal. I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that can never be broken, but it's one that must be balanced in order to move forward. This person's not even balanced within themselves, so they can't get, have something balanced with you. We have courage here. I don't care what it takes, how long it takes, who I upset. I'm going to return to you one way or another. So they're, they're very determined to come back and have something with you. We do have Aquarius energy here. Yeah, I realize there is something between us, but I do not have the time or the capacity to understand it. Everything is too much too soon, and I have other things I need to deal with. So, yeah, they're still kind of like not wanting to accept this connection. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, but you've like kind of, you've inspired this person. I became inspired by your presence, your energy, and your beauty. Without you, I am missing my tools. See, like, let's see. Yeah, inner child healing. I said that. I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection. But now I realize the only way to heal is to mend, acknowledge, and forgive my past. Like I said, this person needs to heal their inner child. But it almost is like this person is kind of like you were a guide for this person. That's the problem. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you guys could have could have been a power couple together. Yeah, the dream team of change. See, there's something about the two of you being together that's going to lead to a something being completed or a goal. That already came out. What was that card said? It said earlier, um it, it said that you guys have a mission together. There's something here like whatever it is that this person is trying to achieve or you're trying to achieve, you guys are not gonna feel like there's something you and this person are supposed to come together and do. And like you're actually helping this person to change and evolve and to heal their inner child. Because you probably, you trigger their inner child. So there's something about the two of you being together. Because it says, I'm missing my tools to create my next masterpiece. This person kind of feels lost without you. You're kind of the, you know, you're, you're the leader in this dynamic, to be honest. I took forever in making up my mind about our connection. Instead of speaking to you, I would run away and indulge in unnecessary pleasures in order to ignore my feelings. Yeah, charisma charismatic Casanova. Fear of commitment and being hurt. Emotional avoidant detachment style. Fond of many lovers and has many love affairs. I told you. When I am with you, I feel as if time just stops and it's just me and you against the world. You feel like home to me. You understand me. I understand you. I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I am unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. I don't know how to, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this to you guys in the right way. But this person has been running from something that is going to elevate them. Like, I don't like, <sighs> I'm not trying to say that you guys are this person's rehabilitation center or anything like that. I'm not saying that. But it's something about the two of you guys coming together that will be very healing. And you and this person would be a force together. But this person has been running from it. It's like whatever they've been trying to, to achieve over there by themselves, the two of you coming together is the key to it. Because I also saw in the back of that other deck, the key to closed doors. The key to the closed doors is the two of you working together. But this person is not ready to do that yet because they have a lot of inner child healing to do. They need to work on this avoidant, this avoidant, like, I need to get one more. So one more, what do they need to know about this? What do they need to know about this spirit? Triggered. I told you this person is triggered. Wow. This person's going through it. I get so emotional when your name comes up or when I see something that reminds me of you. You triggered something inside of me that caused me to feel uncomfortable in my own skin. I don't understand these emotions. And it says, I feel my life is falling apart and being pulled apart. No matter what I try to build, see, things keep crumbling all around me. I wish you were here to help. You were the only thing solid in my life. What did I say? You guys were the key for this person. I don't know. You were the one that was going to get them out of like to help them elevate like you. They would have elevated with you. But they were so much clinging to this old life of theirs 
all their old habits, the old people, whatever, they were running because it scared them. And they have issues with um, um, intimacy and emotions and they didn't feel worthy of you. So it's like this person chose uh, to go down a different path. They've, they've not been choosing you because of all those reasons I just said. And now they're going through a tower moment. They ran right into it. They ran away from you right into a tower moment. That's what I'm probably going to name this reading because they had a golden opportunity with you. You were the key. They didn't accept it. They chose to keep holding on to the past. They chose to stay unawakened. They chose to let fear keep them from accepting this opportunity with you to, to surrender into this relationship with you. And now they're going through tower moments. Because didn't that, that other card came up that says they're experiencing many tower moments to help them get into alignment. They feel like they feel like everything that they're trying to build, it's not working out for them because they were supposed to be building with you. That was the divine plan. They went against the divine plan. So now they're going through tower moments because they tried. They were like, I don't need the collective. I can do this by myself. Now they're running right into tower moments because they were supposed you guys were supposed to come together and be in divine union, be a power couple. They decided to, you know, for all the like I already well, everything I'm pretty much talking in circles again right now. But you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. They're realizing that you brought a lot of stability and you were very, you were more, you brought a lot of wisdom into the relationship or to them and like a lot of good advice and guidance and good energy. And like they see for some of you also what's happening here is that this person is, it's like they'll run away from you and they'll think that they'll be able to, to be all right. They'll, they don't need, they don't need you. They'll run away from you. They'll, they'll, I told you they're taking from you. Now it's all coming together. This is some one of those energy vampires or this person's and they're probably doing it like they're not even aware that they're doing it. But it's like when you're in their life, you you provide so much good energy, advice, wisdom and like all those things. You're you're very resourceful, right? When you're in this person's life and then they start maybe getting a little cocky or egotistical or they start getting it becomes a little too intense for them. They run away and they'll they'll think they'll be all right because you know, you've kind of built them up and they're like, oh, I'll be all right. I'm in a better place now. I don't really need the collective. And then as soon as you guys are apart, everything starts going to shit for them. And they, it's like, because you were, you were it. You were the reason why things were going better for them because of your help and your energy and your guidance and your love and your support and all those things. That was the, that's why it says, I feel like I'm missing all these cards that I was getting. What did it, it said, I feel like I'm missing my missing, missing my key to the next masterpiece or whatever it said you were the key and this person hasn't been quite getting that yet 